Sir Handel, the narrow gauge engine, likes to play tricks on the other engines. He loves their reactions. The other engines, however, do not like his jokes. Sir Handel often gets into trouble by doing these pranks. It was autumn on the island of Sodor, and it was beginning to be very cold outside. The sky seemed gray and gloomy, but the engines still puffed up and down the line with their day's work. There were less passengers sightseeing tours with the weather, and now there was more slate and goods trains. The little engines all knew that Halloween was coming up. They also knew that Sir Handel would be up to his old tricks. I've had it with his tricks. I agree. As much as I didn't enjoy staying in that shed all those years, I was relieved to get a break from Sir Handel's tricks for a few years. Sir Handel had crept up behind the shed. He heard everything that they were saying. I sure hope he doesn't have anything too mischievous planned for Halloween. Sir Handel whistled long and loud. Peter Sam jumped back frightened and ran into Sir Handel. Ow! Sir Handel! Oh, I'll get you back! Oh, looks like it's time for me to go! And Sir Handel hurried away out of Peter Sam's sight. A few days later, Sir Handel was telling ghost stories to the other engines. Sir Handel wanted the other engines to think that the railway was haunted. Scarloe and Reneus had been on the railway for a long time and wouldn't let Sir Handel tell stories that weren't true. But Scarloe and Reneus weren't there, so Sir Handel could say anything about the railway's past and no one would know. A few months ago, I overheard Scarloe and Reneus talking about another engine that used to live on the railway. Duncan was surprised. I always thought that they were the first ones on the railway. No, they just don't like to talk about the first engine that was on this railway. Why not? Just listen. So this little engine helped build the line when he first arrived. He even helped build the shed that we're in right now. Whoa. What Sir Handel was saying wasn't true, but the other engines believed him. This engine only worked up at the slate mines and brought slate down the line. This engine was naughty. He was always finding a new way to get into trouble. The manager warned him that he would be replaced, but he never listened. Peter Sam was nearby collecting coaches. He listened to Sir Handel's story. So one night around Halloween, the engine was being careless, and at the old castle causeway, he derailed. He slid into the water, and he drowned. The engine sat in silence. The scariest thing was that when they came to recover him and take him to the smelters, he was gone. The engines gasped. It's been said that the engine's soul lives inside the old castle, and every year around Halloween, he lights a candle in the castle for people to remember him. Stuff and nonsense. Trying to scare them with your old stories? How sad. You don't believe me? No, I've known you too long to believe your silly stories. Sir Handel laughed. Then why don't you take the midnight goods train tonight and see for yourself at the old castle? Fine, anything to shut you up. So they talked to their drivers, and it was decided. That night, Peter Sam collected a goods train at the quarry and began heading home. It was dark and eerie. He's just telling lies. He's just telling lies, Peter Sam told himself but he was having doubts. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. When Peter Sam approached the castle, he saw a light appear in the castle. Ghost! He tried to hurry and get away, but the track was bumpy and he derailed. Peter Sam was scared and nervous and he didn't know what to do. Suddenly the light turned out in the castle. Oh no! Peter Sam's driver and fireman had to go look for help. Peter Sam shut his eyes. It was early in the morning. The sun still had not come up yet. Peter Sam wanted to open his eyes, but he was too scared. Then he heard something that made his wheels shake. Peter Sam, said a mysterious voice. Peter Sam opened his eyes. Down the track was an engine. Peter Sam couldn't recognize who it was. Don't hurt me! The engine moved towards him. <coughs> Peter Sam screamed. The engine began laughing. <laughs> Peter Sam recognized that laugh. Sir Handel! 
The engine was Sir Handel. He had come to help Peter Sam back on the rails. Peter Sam was furious. Sir Handel got him back on the tracks and took him home. The other engines never let it go and wouldn't stop teasing Peter Sam. Poor Peter Sam. Hello, I'm Henry the Green Engine. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to subscribe for more Thomas and Friends videos. You can also check out more videos on our YouTube channel by clicking the Visit Channel button. If you want to learn more about the up-and-coming latest adventures from Sodor, and to find out about the latest updates, then click the News Blog button. You can also check out the Google Plus and our Facebook page by clicking a link in the description. We hope to see you again soon. Come back often for more videos.